Hey Saeed, it's Kelsey from Grand Prix Hyundai with your personalized walk around video on our 2016 Acura MDX Base. Um, for starters, if I mispronounced your name, I do apologize. Uh, anyway, so this has about 173,000 kilometers on it. You can see you have your daytime running LED headlights up front here. It's got a block heater hanging right out the front of the grill. Um, as you can see, there is some paint chipping coming off of the front bumper here, but we do price our vehicles to the condition that they are in, so do keep that in mind as well. So this is a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's sitting on 18 inch all season uh, tires that are brand new. Uh, your front and rear brakes are brand new as well. So there's just a couple of safety features I wanna point out. So there's cruise control steering assist and forward slash front collision mitigation. So the people that traded this in, traded it in for a brand new Palisade. They just needed to upgrade to something a little bit bigger, a little bit newer. They did keep very good care of this vehicle. I'm just gonna show any damage that there is on the vehicle just cause I like to be open and upfront and honest with my clients. So right here, there's some scuffing going on. All of the rims do have some scuffing on them as well, but I will make sure to show all of that. This is the front driver's side. The other one was the rear driver's side. Very light scuffing right there. It's very, very hard to see. Um, on the hood, there's a couple of dents and dings. Another one right there. And again, a little bit more of a close-up of the paint that's coming off of this front bumper. A little bit down here too. This piece has popped out a little bit, nothing major though. A little bit of paint chipping and rusting right here. All right, so this is the passenger side front wheel. Let me out. This does have the proximity keyless entry on the two front doors. And uh, there's a light scrape right here. Again, very light, probably buff that out bit of a scuff right there. This is the uh, passenger rear wheel. A little bit of rusting down here. Other than that, this again, vehicle has been kept in pretty good condition. So we're gonna come around to the back. Take a look in the cargo area of the vehicle. All right, so this is the cargo space you have in the vehicle. So this is a three row SUV. The third row is down right now. Uh, you have your underfloor storage here. You can remove this lining if needed. Um, this vehicle does come with a set of winter tires on rims. They're just in storage here at the dealership so that you can see the full Full SUV without tires in here. Um, you have a 12 volt power outlet back here as well if you case, in case you need to plug anything in. Power lift gate for easy convenience. All right, so these back windows are tinted. It's harder to see in um, on the camera, but they are tinted. So you do have a 60-40 split folding uh, middle seat here. This is what it looks like when it's down. This is what it looks like when it's up. So it does recline. You do have these buttons to bring it forward to get into the back seat. It does come with all weather floor mats throughout the vehicle. You also have your climate controls in the back here too. And your power windows. Turn signal indicators on your side view mirrors. And I forgot to mention this one does have a bit of a scuff on the mirror as well. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the front here. So you do have power adjustable seats with two memory seat settings. So it's power locks, windows, and mirrors with a window lock. And then down here you do have your power lift gate button as well as your gas cap button. And down here is your parking brake. Right here, I believe this is some kind of high beam like light washer. I have to look into that because I've never actually seen that before, but you do have a heated wipe park, your lane assist, your collision avoidance and your traction control over here. All right, hopping into the vehicle. So on the side of your steering wheel, you have this little knob, which is your tilt and telescopic steering wheel. It is power adjustable. 
I said it's got just under 173,000 kilometers on it. Coming to your steering wheel, you have your steering wheel mounted phone controls, your cruise control, which is adaptive cruise control, your lane keep assist, and a heated steering wheel. Your media center up here, so you have all of your different sources. You have your AM, you have your FM, all of your different sound settings and everything. Sirius XM, you have a CD player in here as well, which you don't ever see anymore in these new ones. Bluetooth, iPod. Um, again, being a 2016, it's going to be a little like outdated, but you do have Bluetooth in here, which is great. Um, you do automatic climate control with your three-stage heated seats. You have your rear defrost as well as your mirror defrost here. When down here is your phone controls, your media controls, and everything that you can control with this. Just a little toggle there. A little bit of storage right here. This does close and open. You have another 12 volt uh, outlet there. This is your gear shift here. So your park reverse. You just pull the brake every time you want to switch. Um, pull that back. Um, again, park, neutral, and then drive is just this button here. You also have your backup camera. Your key fob with the remote start mounted right on the key fob. Uh, coming over to your center console, so you have this. This opens up, revealing your center console here. You do have a 12 volt, an auxiliary, and a USB port. And then over here, you have a two level center console to open up. You can move this back and forth. That just hides that back there. Or you can lift it up if you need full access. There is a new windshield that was put into this vehicle as well. All right, coming over here, you do have your locking glove compartment with your owner's manual. You also have a sunroof in here. Up here are all of your sunroof controls as well as your three garage door transmitters and a sunglasses holder. All right, I believe I went over everything that I need to go over in here. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I hope you enjoyed the video.